now, brown cow? How now, brown... Oh, hi there. I'm Alan Guinea, working today at Bellevue Hospital with Dr. Salil Bandari and Dr. Matt McCarty. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do an ankle stress view. It's an important radiologic view that you might need to perform yourself, especially if you're working overnight in the ER with limited support, and uh, if your patient is in a lot of pain and requiring uh, an, an MD at the bedside. Let's start with some anatomy. To obtain a stress view, you need to bring the mortise of the ankle joint perpendicular to your x-ray plate. In a normal ankle, you'll see that the lateral malleolus is actually a little bit posterior to the medial malleolus. The first thing you need to do is to internally rotate your patient's leg to bring those two malleoli into the same plane perpendicular with your x-ray plate. Next, you need to dorsiflex the foot up. And finally, you need to externally rotate the foot while maintaining that internal rotation of the leg. As you can see, this kind of motion is going to exacerbate any underlying instability of the mortise joint. Let's try it again with a real patient. First, locate your lateral and medial malleoli and using internal rotation of the leg, bring them into the same plane as your x-ray plate. If your patient is in pain, they may move their leg, and I find it helpful to put a towel or other support underneath the buttock on the injured side. So again, internal rotation. Next, dorsiflex the foot. And finally, while maintaining the internal rotation of the leg, externally rotate the foot, bringing the foot parallel to the beam of the x-ray, and shoot. There you have it. And now you know how to do an ankle stress view of an ankle fracture.